All right, this is the Solon One, uh, inspired by uh, Laser Hacker, and um, you can find information on it at laserhacker.com forum. And this is a 10 watt solar panel, and um, I've got actually an 18 volt battery pack in it, so it doesn't need a charge controller. It can't overcharge because this this uh, solar panel puts out about 19 volts. So when the battery is fully charged, it basically just stops charging and I'll show you what's on the back um, obviously we could use a better battery pack um, 18 volt battery packs are pretty common to some power tools and you could do that these are just two little uh, nickel metal hydride that coil there is the uh, the jewel ring jewel ringer air core coil I'm using a 3055 transistor single transistor and I'll power up these bulbs I'm going to set the camera down for a minute a bad connection on it, there we go Alright, both those LEDs are lit up. And we could also put a little like 65 watt inverter in there for 110 power if we wanted. But anyway, I just wanted to show you there is plenty of room in these solar panels for jewel ringer, battery packs. Um, it's kind of nice to uh, use a battery pack that, that won't overcharge so we don't need the solar controller. So these batteries are 170 milliamp hours, which is not a lot, but it will run these bulbs for like a good hour, easily. Um, this solar panel is 18 volt, 10 watt, and it won't overcharge these little batteries. So we tie the base to the 30 gauge, that red wire, come up the other red wire, to our light bulb, and the collector is tied to the other wire going to our light bulb, and also to the bigger magnet wire, which comes from the positive. And the emitter is tied to negative, and that's all there is to it. I don't have an on and off switch on this, and this uh, circuit will idle at about 15 milliamps, which isn't which isn't a lot, but you could put a on-off switch in here if you wanted. So I ran this down to dead flat batteries, and um, I just brought this solar panel out, put it in the sun. The bulbs came right back on. So basically the bulbs are drying off the solar panel right now. And I'll show you, um, if I shadow, there's the solar panel. I'm going to shadow it and watch the bulbs they're off. I'm going to come off the shadow. Bingo, they're on. So that's kind of cool. Now that solar that solar panel is plenty strong enough to run those bulbs and charge the battery at the same time. So feasibly if it was sunny, you could run you know, you could run lights all day long if you want. And the batteries should um, store enough energy to to run at night. So anyway, it's kind of cool. Uh, next step is I will put that um, 110 inverter in there, uh, cigarette lighter style. You just tear them apart and can put that in. Um, and anyway, so it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, give this a try. Any size solar panel, really, if you've got one, you can try this.